Hey there, it's Larry Lursey. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a product by Topaz Labs called Gigapixel AI. Gigapixel is created to help you size up images if you have a very small image size for one reason or another and you're trying to you know, print something large with it or, or in other reasons to size it up. Gigapixel is supposed to help you make it that larger size without losing as much detail and noise and things like that. So it's supposed to be a better way of sizing things up versus just doing it in Photoshop. So we're going to do both. I'm going to show you side by side what it looks like compared to Photoshop. And I'll uh, even tell you a way to uh, get a discount on it at the end of the video. So let's jump in and take a look at an image. And what I'm going to work with today is this piece. So let's say you photographed this at a baseball game. You only had a 200 millimeter lens and you needed a 400 because what you really want is this piece right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to crop in on this image. And here we go. I've basically sized it to a 5x7. I cut out that piece, made it a 5x7. And so here's the piece we're looking at. Now the problem we have is when you cut out that small of a piece, uh, you lose a lot of information. So from this full raw file, we've gone down now to a 5x7 size. And that's 5. We'll take a look here. Five by seven at 300. Now what we're going to do is, let's just bring that out. What I'm going to do is we're going to try it a couple of different ways. First, we're going to do just letting Photoshop do all the heavy lifting by just going up to image size. And let's say we want to go, let's go crazy on this thing and try and take it up to 30 inches tall. Let's try it, see if we can do it. So it'll be, you know, basically 21 and a half by 30 which is a crazy big jump resolution-wise, but we're going to give it a try. What do we got to lose? So we're basically going to be going from a 9 meg file to 165. So let's do that. And let's save this one. And uh, let's just go to File, Save As. And I'm just going to call this pitch. Uh, we'll call it uh, Photoshop. 30. So we're going to, using Photoshop to go up to a 30 inch image. So we'll set that aside. Then we're going to bring up Gigapixel. All right, so I've opened up Gigapixel AI and you've got a couple of different things. You can either open this thing and, and browse through for the folder you want, or you can go ahead and just drag the file in. So I'm taking this 5x7 file and dragging it in. It'll take a second to generate a preview, and we can kind of look at the interface while we're waiting on this. Over here, you've got the preview pane. Uh, sorry, over here's the preview pane. Over here's the original, which kind of shows you uh, what you would be looking at just taking that image up to this larger size. And then over here, sh kind of showing you what the software is doing. You can see down here, we've started out with this 5x7 file. It's about 1500 by 2100. You can, by the way, drag in batches of files into this and do a bunch at one time, which is very cool. But for now, we're just going to work on one at a time. Let's go over here and take a look at uh, some of the options. First off, um, this is auto-update, so it's going to make every time you make a change here, it's going to go ahead and make that on the preview, which I like to do. It slows things down a little bit because you kind of have to wait for it to process, but I think it's worth it. So scale. We can either do this by scale. We can say we want it four times bigger, six times bigger. Um, but what I'm going to do is just try and go, because if we know the width or the height that we want, in this case we know the height, we want to go to 30 inches. I've already typed that in there. 30 inches at 300. So uh, we're going to do it by height. But again, you could do it by uh, by this. You can just type in a number you, if you know the width you want. But we know the height is going to be 30. Face refinement, what this will do is kind of come in and look at the face and it treats it differently so that it uh, tries to preserve the, the appearance of the face. And I'm going to leave that on uh, just because there is a face in the image. I would assume if there wasn't a face, you'd probably just turn it off. And then we're going to set this to auto detect. And what I want to see here is just if I leave Topaz to do its thing, what will it come up with? And here it's kind of showing us these side by side, but I'm going to go ahead and save this so we can take a look at it in Photoshop. So I'm going to hit save and we can come in here and call this whatever we want, but we'll just call it um, gig. 
so that we know. We can um, save in the same directory. You can change your color profile. You can even change the format that you're outputting to, but I, I want to leave it uh, the same. So we'll just call, we'll just add gig to the end of the name. Hit save. And let it go to work. Now this will take a sect process, so we will use our YouTube time machine and jump ahead. Okay, so we are back in Photoshop now, and I've put these two si files side by side. Right here is the file where we just sized it up in Photoshop. Over here is the Gigapixel version. So let's take a, a second to look at them. You know, I'm, I'm looking here at the glove. I feel like the glove looks a lot nicer over here. Uh, you kind of look at that W and see how much sharper it is from that one, or even the word Wilson, I think, looks a lot sharper over here. Um, face is pretty similar. I feel like the eyes are a little sharper, and there's a little less noise through here. And uh, I think the hat, I think the stitching up here looks a little better on the right. So let's take a look at the baseball bonus points if you can identify that pitch in the comments. But uh, I think this uh, baseball definitely looks a little bit sharper and clearer than that one. Um, you know, while I was waiting for that to process, I had another idea. I wonder what would happen if we pushed some of those gigapixel options uh, up a little bit instead of using auto. So what I'm going to do is jump back in real quick into gigapixel and what I want to do is come over here and turn off auto detect and let's see what would happen if we push this up I'm not going to go all the way but I'm going to go most of the way with that uh, with the suppress noise and the remove bar we're moving them both up to 88 and uh, just curious to see if we'll get a better result from this let's uh, run the process one more time hit save and this one I will just Call um, call that gig extra. Here we go. We'll be back in a sec. All right, we are back in Photoshop now, and on the right I have the newly processed, where I pushed those settings all the way up to uh, 88 or something like that. Uh, interestingly, it took a few seconds shorter to process uh, even doing the extra work on it but um, comparing these side by side man there's a huge difference uh, one thing I noticed right away is the background has uh, gone much more painterly back here instead of just this uh, really noisy stuff going on back here I think the background looks way better uh, of course I'm wanting it to be soft and blurry anyways so um, looking at the face I think this face looks tons better. It's clearly smoothed out some of this. Uh, the hat, huge difference between this and this, I think. So I, the face is um, noticeably better going that way. And same thing here with this glove. I think that's noticeably better than that. So uh, the results are actually really good, even when you kind of push the software to its limits. So uh, I was really happy with it. And uh, I think whenever I do any sort of upsizing, I'm definitely going to go the uh, Topaz route instead of trying to size things up in um, Photoshop. So I think that's definitely something you want to take a look at. Uh, there's a link in the description that you can go and check it out. Do a Topaz does free trials of their software, so take a look at it and see if it's something that works for you. If you decide you want to buy it, uh, you can use the code LarryPhoto and they'll actually give you a 15% discount. Um, on anything you buy so that helps a little bit too anyways I hope that kind of gives you an idea of what this software is capable of download a trial of it and, and try it yourself and and see if you get similar results so uh, leave a comment let me know what you think and I will see you soon take care bye bye